Good morning everybody tuned in to Crag Core. Thank you for being here with me today. Uh, today is Wednesday the 2nd of August. I hope you're having a lovely month so far. And I hope July was fantastic for you as well. So then. <laughs> Aliens are real guys. Who knew? <laughs> Welcome to the party, man. Now, those of us that have had experiences, even if you've just had one, you know, then you already know that this thing is for real. This, what they call a phenomena, is already real. Those of us who, uh, who know that, don't actually require, you know, the government's acknowledgement of it in order to uh, to know that it's the truth. That's the first point I need to make because you already know. So, hanging around and waiting for some sort of justification for the experiences you've had. Don't worry about it. You don't need it. We've already uh, been here experiencing this stuff for a very long time. So, uh, you know, cool. <laughs> I do believe, though, that uh, there is one aspect, uh, one good aspect that can come from a government slash you know world disclosure because it's clearly agenda driven everything is with these people they're not going to release information on a subject that they've they've kept dark for such a long time unless they can spin it in a way that benefits them that's literally the mo of these people so just be careful is what i'm saying be careful because these people will be spinning it in a way that benefits them in a way that allows them to remain, I guess, in a position of power. Because let's not forget, the good side of all of this brings about certain um, alternative energy sources and stuff like that, because you're not getting to another planet on jet fuel, are you? The amount that you'd have to take with you in order to, you know, propel yourself would be astronomical I dare say the amount that you'd need to get off the planet is probably more than what they pretend to use it's uh, the force generated by this stuff isn't enough compared to the volume and the more volume you have the more weight and therefore the more volume you need so it's counterproductive at a certain point. It's, uh, you know, I mean, that's just a fucking math, a, math, a simple mathematic equation, isn't it? The more fuel you need, the more fuel you have to take, and the more it's gonna weigh, and the more it weighs, the more fuel you need. It's just simple, isn't it? So, unless you've got fucking petrol stations up in space, what are you going to do? So ultimately, there has to be some form of disclosure with regards to the technology that uh, propels these things. Now, there's been speculation over what that is. You know, some say it's like zero point energy where they're taking energy from the ether around us from like the antimatter or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think that's the way to put it. Ultimately, it's just atmospheric energy. Apparently Tesla was into this. You know, that guy could, could power his lab with wireless electricity. I've said this before, you know, people have only just started to use wireless technology in society with regards to charging their fucking iPhone. 
that tells you everything you need to know about who owns the patents to these things and what the agenda is because these little snippets of technology that you get are connected to certain other bits of technology and if that's how they're trying to drive it forward then you'll know the agenda because look at what these bits of technology do they keep you in a box man it's all about them not you Look at how dangerous smartphones can be to the development of the human race, man. Uh, you know, you start looking at the metaverse and stuff like that. It just narrows your 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 view even further, doesn't it? So, you know, that's another point. However there will have to be some form of disclosure with regards to the propulsion that's if they disclose that they've already got this technology because this is the thing you see if they say yes extraterrestrials are real we already know this and if they say yep they've been coming here for years yep we already know this they could also then say things like you know this is the planet they're from, etc., etc. Cool. But then they might stop there. And what they might add on to the end of it, well, that might be the disclosure. Then they might add on to the end their own little piece, which may be something along the lines of, and we're the delegates of these people. They've chosen us to delegate for them here on Earth, thus rendering them a stronger position of power over the general population of planet Earth. There might be some origins type narrative thrown in there for good measure. You know, apparently these people could potentially, uh, you know, have the keys to an ancient bloodline that dates back to extraterrestrials, etc., etc., which means it gives them uh, dominion over the population of planet Earth. Uh, via that channel so ultimately that could be a little spin that they put on this like I say they're probably going to stop at the fact that they've got these uh, bits of kit themselves that's my opinion because ultimately if they say yeah we've uh, back engineered this stuff then they've got to turn around and say that they've got the propulsion systems and the energy systems that power them. And that means they've got to disclose that and give us all free energy. And if they give us free energy, well, we're all free, aren't we? Because energy is everything. You know, you need energy for absolutely... Fossil fuels is how they are, you know, getting a lot of their power over the population of planet Earth. I mean, ultimately... Without that lasso around the waist of everybody, you know, they can't do much tugging. You know, they've not got much skin in the game, so to speak. They've got to keep that. And if they can get uh, a few more years out of that, then guarantee they will. So it's my personal thought on the matter that they will most likely say you know, some form of disclosure. Yes, they're acknowledging that extraterrestrials are real, that there has been contact, all these kind of things, but they are going to be in trade with these folks. And at that point, they will say, you know, they'll start the ticking clock on the back engineering and say that now we're gonna start back engineering this stuff, but it could take years. That's probably what they're going to say. And that way it gives them a buffer. It gives them time to put in place their ability to long it out for a bit further and to keep on and to make the, the most out of their current regime before they switch to a new one. Because make no mistake, once disclosure has been had with regards to ETs, questions will be asked by certain people I mean those questions have already been asked hence most of them have been answered already but direct questions will be asked um, which
which means direct answers will have to be given regarding the research of the back engineering and what have you. Because it'll all be official and on record. You see, at the minute, it's all been done, but it's off the record. It's uh, black budget type stuff, which means, you know, they don't necessarily have to answer a direct question because it's not official and above board. But as soon as they say, well, then it becomes a ticking time bomb. It becomes basically an elephant in the room that they have to deal with. People can start asking official direct questions and they'll have to start giving those answers. So the people that have been asking these questions for such a long time will already be preloaded, of course. I mean, they're getting ready now. And they'll be asking these questions about the propulsion systems, how long uh, it's gonna take to back engineer, so on and so forth. So at that point, because it's official and on record, the energy systems will have to be disclosed at some point, which means there will be at some point some form of renaissance. However, I can't stress enough that if this pe these people are in charge of it, which it seems as though they're trying to be, uh, it may not be, uh, you know, the renaissance we all desire or need or deserve, basically. Because let's face it, if they say that they've been back engineering this stuff, which they have been apparently, then ultimately they're going to have to disclose the shit straight away because they're going to have to say, well, yeah, look, we've got it. It's in the basement, you know. You know, basement zero, we've got fucking tons of this stuff. And, you know, this is how it works. And at that point, people will say, well, turn it into an energy system that we can all use then. They'll have to be put a uh, in place some form of infrastructure. I mean, who knows? I mean, this is the thing. And I, I said this on another video with regards to uh, the integral way of life, I think about two years ago, perhaps. Hierarchies are okay if they are headed up by progressive people. Hierarchies are only bad if they're headed up by oppressive people. That's basically when they become uh, a negative thing for society. Because then it becomes something that you can use to control and keep people down with as opposed to help people up and kind of help them progress with. So that is where we are with this. If this whole part of the, the game, so to speak, is headed up by people, you know, for instance, the propulsion side of things, you know, the energy side of things, if this is headed up by people that are you know, negatively oriented, you know, polarized, whatever, well then it could breed uh, some form of catastrophe. It could mean catastrophe for all of mankind. Make no mistake. They will probably say that that's the reason why they don't want to release it. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, technically it's not a lie. You put something that powerful in the hands of the wrong people and what you've got is, you know, a planet-destroying bomb, haven't you? Maybe we've been on a 100-year plan. Maybe we've been on a 200-year plan and the whole build-up of terrorism has been about this. So they can say, well, we don't want terrorists to get hold of it. Look at what happened at 9-11, all these kind of things even when, in my opinion, that was some form of energy weapon and there was no planes involved at all. That's my own personal opinion. I understand it's quite a, uh, you know, <laughs> it's quite an out there one, apparently, uh, to some folks, but that's just my opinion. 
I personally believe the planes were CGI. People will believe what they're told to believe in a state of panic. You know, if you can put out over the whole world CGI imagery and tell people that's what it was, no one's going to question it. All you've got to do is control the people that were there at the site at the moment who were already in panic. Put two, three hundred people in place from certain organisations that are running around telling folks that's what it was when they heard the explosion. Because the first one, no one's going to see. It's a built up area, you know, you can't fucking see anything. It's a massive skyscraper in amongst all the other skyscrapers. The first one, people are just going to hear a noise. So, you can tell everybody exactly what it is you want them to, uh, to believe that it was, so to speak. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about here. They could probably have been using that for a long period of time, building it up, so they could say, well, we can't release this stuff because of terrorists. We can't let this stuff out. And fair enough, there are always those, you know, superhero movie villains that are looking to get their hands on world destroying technology so they can hold the world to ransom you know apparently I dare say the world's already controlled by them and that's my point here the world is already controlled by one of those fucking comic book villains which is the reason why all of this shit is being spoken about now and not a hundred years ago you know, that's the reason why we live in the state that we live in today. Ask yourself, given the choice, would you get up every single morning and eat something really quick, have a shower really quick, not really enjoy your time, you know, rush around, watching the clock constantly, a slave to it. You know, rush to work on pain of death because how dare you be late even a minute and then run around all day doing something that you don't really enjoy so somebody else can get rich ask yourself this is that a world ruled by people that actually care about you is that a world ruled by fucking superman or Lex Luthor, you know? You gotta ask yourself, haven't you? It's either the good guy or the bad guy. Simple as. It's either the good guy or the bad guy. And funnily enough, just as I think about it as a chain of thought here, isn't it funny how the bad guy's always got a sob story in these films? to make you sympathetic towards him. It's food for thought. Uh, considering the film massively controls the masses and uh, tells you what and how to think. But anyway, <clears throat> you know, these people are already in control, in my opinion, and that's why this stuff hasn't yet been released. You know, like... Like attracts like. The world's such a bad place. Let's just say terrorism is real. And it's not just a fucking plan hatched by the oligarchs to keep us all in fear. Let's just say they're real for a moment. What kind of response do you think you're going to get to a world ruled by fear and fucking tyranny? They call them terrorists, but really they just want their fucking freedom back, perhaps. Perhaps they're sick and tired of being ruled by fucking tyrants. Of course a fucking tyrant's going to call a freedom fighter a terrorist. You know? I mean, blowing people up and fucking beheading folks. That isn't the way to go around things. Of course not. But again, most of these organisations are funded by certain organisations... Uh, CIA, etc. I think. I mean, I wouldn't know, but uh, rumours and stuff. And they can be trained to fucking do or say whatever it is you want them to. So you can get them to 
you know, a small pocket of people to start beheading folks, you put that video out and say it's the fucking Taliban, people are going to believe it's the Taliban. So uh, it is what it is, you know. What was it somebody said? Believe nothing of what you hear and only half of what you see. So there you go. But um, the technology aspect, you know, it will be released at some point, but again, it will be agenda driven. You know, it will be held, those cards will be held close to the chest and it will be played out in such a way that gets us to be sympathetic towards the non-disclosure that will come from the disclosure. And um, however, the fact that it will be on the cards is one thing that I think is positive. The fact that it will be on record official is a positive thing because we do have great minds out there that have been studying these subjects for a very, very long time. And those people then will start asking the official questions which will force more disclosure. It will force more of this stuff to come out. And you see, it's an avalanche at that point because yes, um, the, the agenda game will be played, but ultimately, once it's official, it will literally be a, a matter of time. And of course, we don't need the official narrative that they want to give us, you know, official. Of course, we don't need that to know that it's all real, do we? However, once it's on record, once it's been admitted to, there will be other things that come from that. And considering the fact that the right people have been asking the right questions to bring it to this point, I can only imagine what those same people will be able to do with officialdom behind them. And on that note, uh, I'd like to say thank you to all of those people that have been pushing this. Thank you to every single one of you that has been steadfast in this, uh, on this subject for many, 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 many years and taken the ridicule because that's what it's taken. And we're here now on the precipice of something. Whatever that is, we don't know. Nonetheless, we uh, we remain steadfast and continue to uh, progress, you know, in a forward manner. So thank you for being here with me today. This is Cragcore. I'm going to sign off at that point. I'm going to wish love and peace to all things everywhere. This is Cragcore signing off. Peace.